Yes, good morning, fellow dear friends, lovers of freedom, men and women of goodwill, conscientious people wherever you are all over the world. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some of you, good night, depending on your time zone. This is still Radio Biafra Extra. And as we all know, Radio Biafra Extra is streaming live through Radio Biafra London. We could come, we could come in form of Radio Biafra USC 1, Radio Biafra USC 2, Radio Biafra South Africa, Radio Biafra Middle East, Radio Biafra, Biafra Land, we could come in form Radio Biafra Awosa Service, of course, Radio Biafra Newspaper Review Session. Whatever name we come with, it's just a different segment. This is Radio Biafra. And of course, Radio Biafra is in defense of the freedom and the right of the indigenous. We may want to limit it to the indigenous people of Biafra, but our action clearly defines that we are standing for the right of the indigenous people across the globe. Anybody that they need freedom, we speak to them. Freedom in the end, we statement before every homo sapien here on it that we are not just here to of different people which is of what most important but here the freedom of all and i believe this is what the world leaders believed in i believe that anytime they converge in uh, the, the united nation floor somewhere in geneva year in year out i believe it is for the good of humanity but i can assure you that the very moment you begin to kill a cross-section of human being to solve problem you are no longer human and having said that radio biafra extra is being anchored by the deputy leader of the indigenous people of biafra his name is mazuchu kafomefo mazuchu kafomefo is from abatete abatete is in anambra state and Anambra State is Biafra land. Mazuchu Kafo is the man who have assured us that he will not allow the heart of this project to see corruption. I always tell you, one day we will all come to appreciate the mindset behind those words. But of course, he's standing in a deputizing capacity on behalf of our Supreme Leader, Mazenande Okukano. He's now the king of Afari Beku before the Nigerian murderous security is the Nigerian terrorist government killed his people. He was a prince. He we don't flatter anybody. We don't sell it. I have what it takes. One of the most advanced screen wars as he is. For everything that represents Biafra, your Britain, BC, or Pen, Fanny, still would stop you of Biafra. Say, trust them. But I was willing to solve. We are trying to make what I feel to see when it brought me to the brand in Gala and you are in Dua, Biaf, Death, Biafran, a blue goose state. Abia State, Mustit, Anambra State, Fire, along the link where will you be to you? Look for IPOB and join. One man commands our loyalty. On the and move any Amoyana or any Igwe. We are not here to take your position as a warlord. We are here to put it in the us as a people. I can't speak for all of us. Of course, that is not an issue to debate about anyway. 
Kan, who is the director of Radio Biafra, as well as Biafra One. That we should do, we do. And that is why, even though we are angry, even though we are angry and cannot accept the situation any longer, but yet we really cannot move ahead of him. You people must understand that. And I want to believe this will not be taken for granted. Nigerian state who have heard us here. I come from our boys in Delta State and Delta Sierra land. I must understand that having the privilege to represent the indigenous people of Biafra in capacity in the greatest honor of my life. What could one ever ask for to understand that? And support men and good women across the globe who want justice for the people of Biafra, who want freedom for the people of Biafra. I can tell you I'm humble. And that I will not proceed until I acknowledge the creator. He goes by many names to different people, but to we Biafrans, his name is Chukuki Kabiyama. Yes, we call him Tamono. We call him Obase, among others. But I give my praise to him. For in the end, everybody will hail Biafra, and all glory must be given to him. Glory must be to our God, for he is worthy of our praise. No, no man Glory Wasting much of our time, I will remind us that uh, we'll soon be joined by our mommy, Evangelist Agnes Mwokike, this morning on a prayer session. And I've been making this announcement for those people who have been following us and I'm praying. And they it's to the climbers this morning. And like I said, in a few minutes from now, I will be bringing in Evangelist Agnes to address us. But at the same time, I want to briefly take us through one or two statements and then I will be going back to her right here in Biafra land. And this morning, I simply titled this program, When a Crime is Unpunished, When a Crime is Unpunished, the world is in balance. When a crime is not punished, when a crime is not avenged, the world is in balance. The bitter truth everybody has to embrace and let the needful be done. If somebody has done something wrong, they need to be punished. And sometimes for them to show respect, they need to be avenged. But this looks like his speech to you. You cannot comprehend this because I want to believe if there is justice for all, there will be no idiot running across the globe saying he is born to rule. No idiot will say they are ISIS. No idiot will say they are colonial master. Because the last time I checked, Fulani Hesme, Miati Allah, Boko Haram, including the colonial masters, are all authorities on the face of this planet Earth. And they know this is the truth. When a crime is unpunished and unavenged, I can assure you that the world is in balance. And that is why those terrorists who went ripping black people across the globe, those terrorists who took you as slaves, are even the one repositioning themselves to be the fire. And they think, oh, they are good. They are not good. Until they own up to their evil, they will stink. They will smell like ISIS. 
they will smell and stink like Akada. No matter how you try to bring these people down, because not until your matter is looked into, you don't even have moral right to the judge Buku Haram. That is why all those terrorists in Nigeria can look at Britain in the face, look at everybody in the face, and tell you you can't know because you, you evil has been unchecked and the world is in balance. You can use your power to do what you want to do. You feel you can believe me. So I don't like that. Nobody to you think by it. If you know what what you have done, says will move into Africa, and because someone came in right before. I read an article online, which I read this morning, because who who are consigned as Biafrans will not be able to understand what we are doing here in IPOB. And this lunatic is going to run out from somewhere and say, we've been talking, 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 but you do not know that God has to talk to create the world. You don't know the principle of the Bible because the only who is teaching you people inside the, and inside the church is how to make money. I tell you, there is no greater weapon as the Bible. Learn to use it. No greater weapon. Not AK-47. No greater weapon, not nuclear warhead. And everything you need, pertaining life and godliness, they are hidden there. But your approach as a black man and your Bible, a very hopeless idiot animal, you cannot get sense. They told you, for God to create the word, he has to speak his word. They told you in your Bible, for God to even scatter the word, the towel of Bebe, he has to change their language, put confusion in their midst. And that is why the Bible says in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. God said somebody got to say something. That is the beginning of everything. Look at where we are today. For the very first time in our life as a people. For generation as much as I can remember. Nobody has been able to bring us down. The word of one man. The word of the mouth of one man. That is why we are here today. I do not believe. He will understand, but we have to must understand. It's not a matter of uh, if you want to be born again, you must be born happy to be born again. This year, the United States be doing people was in a telling every black I can't have known a woman was somebody but I am very proud of my now and I knew he was in a hundred times Life, I will still be IPUB member, and if there is Nigeria, I will still fight it. But let me please it. Why will my people be on front line of every crime? Because all the newspapers around the world want to kill everybody, they want to victimize anybody, they set up experiments, speak in the lab. It is the Biafran people. Oh, one Igbo man stole moto in Lagos. Oh, Igbo man cut head in Sokoto. Hey, another Igbo man. In Malaysia, oh, another Igbo man is uh, carrying a uh, trafficking gear to America. Oh, another Igbo man, of course, the FBI of America did it early last year or late last year. And I, I was like, Why would it be us all the time? I have not been to the University of Radio Biafra, I, I couldn't place it. Why would it be our people all the time? And then people like us have to hide our Umenala name, our original traditional name. So at, at least it's a stigma. When I see some people now, Biafra, go and thank Mazen and the canoe. Because before now, we were even dinner. In fact, I keep saying this thing. The greatest way to yab an Igbo man or a Biafra man is to look at it and say, look at you, Igbo man. You say Nigu man no, no, I'm not Igbo. 
You think what is happening in Delta State and Equity uh, River State, you think it's normal? You see Igbo man in Benue State, Igbo man in uh, Cross River State denying their de identity, Igbo man in Edo State, Igbo man in Bayasa, Igbo man in uh, Kogi, Igbo man everywhere denying. You think it's ordinary eye? When a crime is some point, crime is on avenge. The world become imbalanced. The issue of Biafra makes the world imbalanced. And I can assure you because of our matter, the world is on trial. It doesn't matter how they approach it. And so why they commit this crime against us? Nobody is speaking for us. What they do and blackmailing us. Blackmailing us. He will do that. He will do this. But for you to do here on radio Biafra. No longer kidnappers now are not Igbo again. Literally not for not the only people there. It's a who think it's not the election that's of thought and from the people who have the time to be to be a half of Nigeria to tell you they are fighting the uh, Corona virus. This government know they need to tread carefully. With radio from that they cannot run the We are the finger that cheese crocodile. Do you understand that? When we started lamenting about the killing of Biafra in Nigeria, they started countering everything we see, even to the extent of blackmailing us. I have prayed to the Creator as much as I and say, You know, we have not started killing people. Of course, we will kill them. But for now, we are not killing anybody. These people are set us up. They set us up. And we cannot. But we need your wisdom to be able to navigate through this moment. Because we understand the consequence of our action and we are ready to pay whatever price is necessary. But justice and the truth must prevail in the end. Because everything Nigeria worked very hard for is to blackmail us. And I tell you, if our leader is not a meticulous man who deploys principles of discipline, making sure every move he makes is anchored or related or manifested through the preamble of law, by now we would have been blackmailed. Most of you will be stoning us. Most of you will be stoning us. But the truth is that you can't stone Boko Haramo. You can't stone Fulani Hellsmen. You can't stone all these governors and all these idiots in the among others, but we will get it anyway. And so they were busy blackmailing all the man that will be is a propaganda news, is a pro but today who is the propaganda here? But we have not started, we are not in a hurry. Full and can trip in, come and take over our land. All of you do whatever it is not yet time. When it's time, we will tell you it's just eleven o'clock. We will tell you the time. We will tell you the time, it's not yet time. Because when we are done with Nigeria, and you can join the domain with the moment, you people will bleach him. Of course, we understand you have stolen about 960 million US dollars already to cure Ebola, to prevent the coronavirus. When you don't even build one hospital for it, you have not even imported one drug for it. You have uh, spent the 960 million US dollars inside Nigeria here. And Britain love this because they are criminals. When the crime is on avenge. The world is in balance. When the crimes go unpunished, the world is in balance. Some put something online, like I said, and I, I think it is important I, I go through it as much as I said. I'm going to bring in a uh, sister any moment from now. But let's see if I can be able to On when they start 
to be sure everything that he started for skin fight is Biafra. We are not going to be the first. When France was invaded by the German, they run to London. And some of their women stayed behind and was romancing with German soldiers. At the end of the day, when American and the rest helped to save Britain and their France from the hand of German. The first thing France did when they went back to France was to kill all their women. And they knew they had dealing with German. France, all of them. That was to put an end with evil blood. The evil blood that is worrying us in Biafra land now. So if you are evil blood, if you are against Biafra restoration, as in Biafra or you are fake blood, pretending you will survive in our means, run. Run now. When our temper is down, when our passion is restored, come back, we will look into your case. And so this guy is an idiot. He, he does not know that. In fact, I, I will have to continue this study in the evening by the grace of God. I will not go further anyway. Let's just stop it here because we do just really need to understand what we're doing here. Because sometimes some people think we are here to talk. It is not just talking. It is just talking. You people have done us enough favor. And we cannot take it anymore. If I have to continue with this very broadcast this morning, I can assure you I will never bring in. Yes, I thought it's something I can manage, but the more I, I want to go deep, the more I begin to see a lot of things that I just don't need to walk past by. But we will look at it. And so you understand where we are, so that as a man, as man, you will know that there is no hiding place for any enemy of Biafra. It doesn't matter how big, how connected, how worthy you think you are. It doesn't matter what you think you are doing now. You will have it at the back of your mind that we are here to restore Biafra and every enemy of Biafra who fails to repent certainly hear from us. And like I said, I will be coming back shortly. Let me go to Evangelist Agnes Mokike. Land of the right and side. John Lovine. My original legend. Land of the right and side. Land of the right and side. My hope, my fatherland. Yes, uh, at this moment I am joined by Evangelist Agnes Mokiki. Hello, Ma, can you hear me? Hello, Ma. Can you hear me? I can hear you very well. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Ma, from here. Go ahead, please. You are on to the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And good night to some of you, IPOB and Biafra worldwide. I am Evangelist Uzaku from Mbo. I am calling in Biafra land on each province. And I say special good morning to my Sumi the Deputy Maju Chemefu. All POB members worldwide who are working assiduously for the direction of our dear nation, the land of the rising sun, Biafra. Ahana Chumwajo, Biafra. Ahandia Osana Baloso, Biafra. Ahapula Nine Awolong Oso, 
Biafra. Aha, Odu do one of Chahin Biafra. Aha, Niti, Britain, Niho Titi, Biafra. Aha, Wanine Natu. I thank you, Koki Kabiama. Today is 6th of March 2020, being Friday. And today we are starting our three days fasting and prayer with the team them assembly. So assembly. Taking from Joel chapter one verse fourteen and Esther chapter four verse sixteen. That is we are the solemn assembly which is the team is taken from. So, I call on you, IPPB members, Biafrans, all over the world, and lovers of Biafra, lovers of freedom, to join us this morning, to do the needful, and that is to pray to Chukwoki Kabyam. But before I go into prayers, I want to enlighten us. What is the need of praying? Why do we pray? Or what is prayer? Before I start the teaching, I want to thank Chukwoki Kabyam for the life he has given unto us. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Oh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Alpha and Omega, we worship you, Lord. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Chukwadiama. You are Yahweh. We are grateful unto you. Thank you for our Supreme Leader Mazin Namdekano, for the Deputy Mazin Chairman, for all the continental reps, the DOS, the principal officers, every IPOB member at the unit level. Father, we are grateful unto you. We thank you for what you are doing unto us. We thank you because of your love unto us. Thank you because you did not allow the enemy to swallow us up. And that is why we are still living. We are still living. And we are praying. 
praising you. We are thanking you. We are grateful unto you. Blessed be thy name. Your word is here and amen. And forever settled in heaven. But even as we go into your world this morning, let our eyes of understanding be opened that we may know what for us this morning and what you want to speak unto us this morning that we will not be hearers only, but doers of the word. Thank you for answering For in your name, Chukwoki Kabiyama, we have prayed. He said, he said, he said, I want to start by singing the song that my African rep played this morning before he opened. It says, ancient words are true, changing me. between God and man, prayer is said to be communication with God, request to God, talking to God, making intercession to God, laying complaints to God, from God, and so on and so forth. So before this morning prayer, I want us to consider some people in the Torah, in the book of the Bible, who prevail through prayer. And the first person I want us to look at is Abraham. If you are not here with your paper and pen, you are mistaken, just as we normally do. You take your paper and pen and write down because I have so many Bible passages, but I will not read them all. So Abraham prayed severally. So many times he prayed, but we just pick some. In each of the people we are considering, we just pick few, just some, one or two instances of where they prayed. In Genesis chapter 12, verse 8, Abraham built an altar. What is building an altar? It is a place of fellowship, a place of talking to God, a place of discussing with God. In Genesis 13, 18, the same thing, he built an altar. 
in Genesis 18, we saw him interceding on behalf of Sodom and Gomorrah because of the nephew Lot. But Abraham, even though he built, uh, even though he prayed severally, he fought war. You can see that in Genesis chapter 14, verses 13 to 17. When people invaded Sodom and Gomorrah, where his nephew Lot was living, Abraham called the servants and members of his household and pursued those people and killed them and recovered Lot and the people of Sodom. Let's consider Moses. Moses prayed many times. You can see that in Exodus chapter 9, from verse 28 to 33. You can also see Exodus 10, 18, Exodus 14, 15, Exodus 32, 30 to 33, Deuteronomy chapter 1, 42 to 45, to mention but a few, as I said. But yet, Moses fought war. In Exodus 17, 8 to 10, we were told how the Amalekites invaded them in the wilderness. And the Moses went with the, the children of Israel with Joshua, with Aaron, with her, they led the children of Israel and they smote the Amalekites. He fought. Not only in that place, but we are just taking some post so that it's the time allocated to me. Joshua prayed always. You can see that in Joshua chapter seven, Verses 6 to 7, verse 13. Joshua chapter 8, from 1 to 3. Yet he looked at and the environment. If Joshua did not pray in Joshua chapter 7, he wouldn't have known that. They were defeated by AI because of Achan. But when he went to God, God revealed the problem. And the problem was solved. And they continued winning the war. Let us look at David. We know that David was a man of prayer. Always inquiring from God. In 2 Samuel 30, verses 8 and 17, Moses, sorry, David asked God, what do I do to these Philistines that invaded Ziegler? Do I pursue them? Will I overtake them? And God said, yes, pursue overtake and without fail recover all. But the same David in 2 Samuel 5 from 22 to 25, he still inquired of the Lord about the war he was about to fight. And God said, no, don't go for, for now. Wait until you fear you hear my footsteps at the top of mulberry trees when you hear my footsteps on top of mulberry trees then go i have given you victory and we know that david wrote more than half of the book of psalms the book of psalms has 150 chapters and moses wrote more than half of them and those things with their prayers he made, requests he made, complaints he made, songs he raised unto God, thanksgiving songs, morning songs, and so on and so forth. 
Then if we look at the high priest Ezra, Ezra led the children of Israel to prayer in Ezra chapter 8, verse 21, when they were returning from captivity, so that they will know what to do. And from the one of the places we took our teams, our team from Esther. In Esther chapter 4, he, he led, she, she's a woman, she led Mordecai, the uncle, and the, the Jews to fasting and prayer for three days so as to obtain favor from the king. And then God answered that prayer. In Esther chapter 9, they went against the people they were living the place where they were the town or the country or the nation or whatever you call it of Babylon from the Shishan palace of the king the 120 provinces the children of Israel smote all their enemies yet they fasted for three days before they went to war. Yahweh Hashua, or Jesus Christ, as some of us call him, was a man of prayer when he was on earth. The Bible recorded so many places. In fact, he, he started with 40 days, 40 nights fasting and prayer. In Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 to 2, you will see in Mark chapter 1, 35, Luke chapter 5, verse 16, Luke chapter 6, 12, Luke 22, 31 to 32, 42 to 58. This morning, as I was listening to the concluding part of uh, our brother was saying uh, that uh, some of us are talking about if you slap me on one cheek, you turn to that, that, that is why the Christians are not fighting back. And uh, what I call that is lack of knowledge. But if you, if you look at that place, it is only one place that it appeared in the Bible. And that is Matthew chapter 5, verse 39. It says, But I say unto you that you resist not evil. But whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him the other cheek. Matthew 5, verse 39. This is at the beginning of the ministry of Jesus Christ. When he taught, man, everything will go smoothly. And that is someone on the mount. And it only appeared on that passage, Matthew chapter 5. No other. The same Jesus who told them to turn the other cheek could not resist. Let us see. I want to read this place so that our people will come out of their ignorance. If it is this passage that is deceiving you, you read the word of God and digest it and allow the Holy Spirit to explain it to you. Because God said, do not conclude only on one witness or one act. 
there must be two witnesses or more or two accounts or more before you accept something or be, be, before you walk with an evidence or a witness so let's see what happened in 19. Luke chapter 19, verses 45 to 46. And when he, Jesus, went into the, the temple, and he, Jesus, went into the temple and began to cast out them that sold their and them that bought, saying unto them, It is written, my house is the house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. The same Yahashua, the same Jesus Christ, went into the temple after his triumphant entry. And another translation said, he took me, Italy, where Piasisian Dinonele Ndulu, no more na temple he took whip he took cane and flung them out not is the same jesus that told you in matthew 5 39 when you are slapped in one cheek turn to the other the same jesus took cane and flogged out those who we are doing the wrong thing they we are selling and they changing the things that they come for offering in the temple. Today we call it bazaar or harvest and bazaar. Those people who we are exchanging, selling and buying the things that we are in the temple for which people offered, he flogged them out. So, if you are holding on to Matthew chapter 5, verse 39, why did he flog them? Why? Why did Yawahashua flog out people? You see that. He continue with that because he saw that it is not the way to handle people, to handle men who are disobedient, who are going out of the way. What are we talking about? Let's see Luke chapter 22. Why I'm concentrating on reading these passages is because of the wrong interpretation that those of us who call ourselves Christians are doing. Luke chapter 22, verses 35 and 36. It says, He said unto them, I sent you without pause and scream and shoes let you anything and they said nothing that is it then said he unto them but now did you hear that but now he that had a purse let him take it and likewise his and he that had no sword let him sell his garment and buy one. I want to repeat this session. That is this. Then he said unto them, But now, he that had a purse, let him take it. And likewise his scrip. And he that had no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. And of course, they replied, that they had two socks with them and he said it is okay so the same jesus christ the same yawahashua 
who told them if you are slapped on what you are now tell them that when I was staying with you, I was your protection. But now I'm away. away. You need to defend yourself. He said, but now. But now, Obuni Nwara, Apeje Tinye, Kiwe, Sevego, Ageji, Megini, Ageji, Goten, Wogo. I see if you don't have that sword, you equally use at the time any delia. Ngile kwa kwa gyo sell your clothes and then buy salt. Ni ni dili he gaji protect on wagi. You need it because I am no more with you. Is your hash you are still on earth physically now? No. This is the time he is talking about. But now, but now, my fellow Christian, but now, my fellow Biafran, but now, IPOB family member, but now, Yawahashua says, but now, that is present, but now. If you don't have salt, sell your clothes and buy salt to defend yourself because the enemy will come. And what happened? Peter was just praying with his master, Yawahashua. But what happened in John chapter 18, verse 10? That same Peter who was a man of prayer, who was always with his master, praying. That same Peter made use of the sword that they bought. I want to read it out to you. John chapter 18, verse 10. It says, Then Simon Peter, having drew it and smote the high priest's servant, and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. The same Peter that Yahweh said, You are the rock, and upon you I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail. The foundation of the church was laid upon Peter. And that same Peter defended the master and themselves when the people who wanted to arrest him came. He took the sword and cut off the ear of the high priest servant. Why didn't he wait? If you are slapped on one cheek, turn to the other. Why didn't he apply? Because the master has already changed the system. He, he himself started flogging the people who were disobeying the law in the temple. He changed the system, even when he was still here on earth, not when he went to heaven. I hope I am making what I am teaching us this morning. So it's not only prayer. There was a song we used to sing. Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. Prayer is the master key. Yes, it's the master key even till today. Because if you don't commune with two you won't know the step to take. Almighty men who conquered kingdoms in the Bible, we are men of prayer. Our ancient ancestors 
the war, the war. They prayed to Chukwoki Kabgama until subsequent generations aligned with other people and turned to idolatry, to idol worship. In the war, the people, the ancient Ari and the ROG, they were keeping the laws of Chukwoki Kabgama until generations came when they forgot God, when they refused to obey, because they started aligning with other people around them and the people they met in the land. Just like our leader always said, and my African rep said it this morning, those who aligned, who joined with uh, uh, the Germans, in France, that they were wiped away to remove evil, to de remove defilement from the land. But our people did not do it. And that was why idol worship prevailed in Biafra land. Yama became angry with us and allow the enemy to invade our land. Of course, I don't need to talk about our leader, Mazinam Bekanu. He's a man of prayer. He prays according to what he said, but I don't know whether it is actually that. No. He said it Pray seven times a day. Seven times a day. Of your family get broke as a one at the fellow. So apart from the gang on the account, what of the other seven does on account? So you find out that he's a man of prayer. He prays without season. He prays everywhere he is. So abroad just seven times connect my Us in all seven times can they live time in prayer, but it's not just seven times. He's the man of prayer. And he did it for the his time in prayer. Then Biafra will not be IPOB will not be at the level where we are now. He has been praying and he has been walking. Prayer without work does not yield any benefit. You will pray and you will walk. Our Adaba to him. You can see that in Second Chronicles seven fourteen, he said, "If my people." who are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn away from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven. So if there is a man to pray, God is willing to hear the prayer and answer it. He also said in Ezekiel 22, 30, and I saw for a man who will stand in the gap and make up the hedge so that I will, because of him, not destroy my people. So for those of you, dear friends, who are antagonistic about praying, you hate prayer, I wonder how you can make it. Because without that prayer, you wouldn't know the mind of Tukwoki Kabiyama. You wouldn't have the to go. We must pray, and we must talk. Those of you who are saying our leader is slow, give us command, energy command, when God says, no, don't go now, and you go, what will happen? It happened to the children of Israel in the wilderness. God said, don't go now against the Amalekites, don't go now, and they refused. Hasina had to go back to rage, we are back to rage. 
You can see it in the book of Numbers and even in the Deuteronomy chapter 1. We are now back ready. And they went and what the Amalekites massacred them and chased them like bees. That was what was recorded there. So we should pray. That is why we are praying. Chukwa Kikabiyama commanded us to pray. And he is the one that is directing our prayers. And when we pray according to his direction, he hears us. So, it is better for us, dear friends, IPOB members, to align with Chukwa Kikabiyama, to agree with his word. He said in Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, My people perish for lack of knowledge. And Paul recorded it in Romans chapter 10, 1 to 3. He said that his people have zeal for God, but they lack knowledge. They lack knowledge. Many of us lack knowledge. Those who say we don't need to pray, they lack knowledge. Those who say when you are Build, you will just stay and pray. They lack knowledge because the Bible balanced everything. He said, We shall defend ourselves, even our master, Yawahashua, said that that you will get ready for the influence and get your sword ready for those who will try to invade you. So with this, I have concluded my teaching on prayer this morning. We are now going to pray. I want you to join us. This morning we have Thanksgiving to Chukwu Kikabiyama for how he has led us thus far and for the successful burial of our leader's parents. It is the work of God, Chukwokitabiyama. Those who plan to massacre on that day, Chukwokitabiyama incapacitated them. They could not do any harm. And we heard our royal burial in peace. And everything went well. And Psalm 124 says, if it had not been God who was on our side, now let Biafra say, if it had not been God who was on our side, when Flanny, Alsa Flanny rose against us, they would have swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. If it had not been Chikabiyama, the enemy has invaded our land, they would have swallowed us up. Chukwu, you are worthy. Nani gibu chiyo Gibu do nyanyi nene Gileo Gibu nu chanyi na jamao Gibu nu chanyi nene Gileo Gibu nu chibia prasna Jamaa You are so good to us, dear friends. You are so good to IPOB. You are so good to our Supreme Leader, Mazin Namdekanu, and all the people working with him. Father, if not for you, the enemy should have swallowed us up. From 1967, 
when they declared physical war, when they embarked on genocide, you have been keeping us. Britain planned to wipe us away from the face of the earth using the flannies. But you said no. That we are a choosing generation, a Ruyu's priesthood unto you. That we shall not be exterminated from the face of the earth. We are grateful. We thank you for what you are doing. <coughs> Excuse me. We are grateful that you have been keeping us unto this day. This is our year of Jubilee. The year you shall be free from slavery. And the enemies are raging. Doing all manner of things. Planning all manner of evil. They wanted to embark on another genocide on the 14th of February when we gave our parents Chief Israel Okukano and the Lord Sally, when we bid them farewell, the enemy planned to use that day that you said no. Where do we begin to count your goodness unto us? The happy OB and dear friends. Father, we are grateful. Mama the Rigi, you are wonderful. You are good to us. <laughs> We are grateful. We are saying for all you have done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Chukwoki Gadiama. And we are thanking you because we know that when you begin a thing, you bring it to a perfect finish. Biafra Restoration is your project. And you don't abandon your project halfway. Therefore, we are grateful. We say, may all glory, all honor, all power, dominion be added unto your holy name. In the name of Yahweh Ashua, he said, he said, he said, thank you, my African rep, for giving me the opportunity to lead us in the opening prayer of Palam prayer this period. May Chukwo Kikabiyama continue to strengthen you as you continue to pilot the affairs of Biafra restoration. Good morning once again and remain blessed. Thank you.
Yes, uh, hopefully, I want to encourage those of us who have been on going on with uh, worship and praise to do the needful. Having done that, I will not be able to open our line this morning because my time is almost up. I will across the globe, those who are working directly or indirectly sin to ensure that the sovereign state of Biafra is restored. I could only say, may the grace of our Creator continue to be with us even unto the end. We do, we do, we do. Yes, good morning, fellow dear friends, lovers of freedom, men and women of goodwill, conscious people wherever you are all over the world. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some of you, good night, depending on your time zone. This is still Radio Biafra Extra. And as we all know, Radio Biafra Extra is streaming live through Radio Biafra London. We could come, we could come in form of Radio Biafra USA 1, Radio Biafra USA 2, Radio Biafra South Africa, Radio Biafra Middle East, Radio Biafra, Biafra Land, we could come in form Radio Biafra Awosa Service, of course, Radio Biafra newspaper review session. Whatever name we come with, it's just a different segment. This is Radio Biafra. And of course, Radio Biafra is in defense of the freedom and the right of the indigenous. We may want to limit it to the indigenous people of Biafra, but our action clearly defines that we are standing for the right of the indigenous people across the globe. Anybody that they need freedom, we speak to them. In the freedom in the end, we speak to them. Before every homo sapien here on it, that we are not just here to them of different people, which is of what most important, but here the freedom of all. And I believe this is what the world leaders believed in. I believe that any time they converge in uh, the, the United Nations floor, somewhere in Geneva, year in, year out, I believe it, it is for the good of humanity. But I can assure you that the very moment you begin to kill a cross-section of human beings to solve problems, you are no longer human. And having said that, Radio Biafra Extra is being anchored by the deputy leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. His name is Mazuchu Kafomefo. Mazuchu Kafomefo is from Abatete. Abatete is in Anambra State. And Anambra State is Biafra land. Mazuchu Kafo is the man who have assured us that he will not allow the heart of this project to see corruption. I always tell you, one day we will all come to appreciate the mindset behind those words. But of course, he's standing in a deputizing capacity. On behalf of our Supreme Leader, Mazenande Okukano, is now the king of Afari Beku. Before the Nigerian murderous security, aid, the Nigerian terrorist government killed his people. He was a prince. He we don't flatter anybody. We don't sell it. I want to have what it takes. One of the most advanced screen world. Is everything that represents Biafra, your treatment, BC, or pain, uh, and still would stop you of Biafra. So trust them. Death, 
Enugu State, Abia State, Imo State, Anambra State, Fire State, Somewhere along the link, we 